Hi viewers, welcome to my channel SM Edutech. This is Dr. S. Malikarjunan. I have been giving my engineering graphics lectures to first year engineering students. This is the fifth video in that series. As per Anna University syllabus, all five units are framed based on orthographic projection, except a half in first and last unit. In other words, 80% portion or four units have dealt with orthographic projection. Among these units, one type of orthographic projection that is isometric projection covers a half unit and remaining three and a half units cover multi-view orthographic projection. In multi-view orthographic projection, different views of a 3D object have been projected onto a planar surface. In the previous part one video, we have seen what is orthographic projection. In this video, we are going to see what are the four quadrants used in orthographic projection, what are the types of projection systems used and where to position each two-dimensional view. It is very important to understand orthographic projection to study engineering graphics. So watch this video completely without skipping in the middle. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications. Let us move on to the video. This video is a sequel of theory of projections. So, if you have not watched the first part, watch it and come back to this video for better understanding. Okay, a small recall. The given 3D object is viewed by the observer. His eye is named as station point. There are some parallel lines of sight or projectors which connect the observer's eye and object. Then, they trace the object and project it as an image onto a flat surface. This image is the required two-dimensional view and the flat surface is nothing but the plane of projection. Here, a whiteboard acts as the plane of projection, but any flat surface can act as a plane of projection. That is, when the whiteboard is removed, image is directly projected onto the wall. The wall stands vertical, hence, it is called as vertical plane. The view is obtained in vertical plane when the object is viewed from the front. Hence, it is called as front view. When the object is viewed from the top, projectors trace the object and the image is projected onto the floor. Now, the floor acts as a plane of projection. The floor is horizontal. Hence, it is named as horizontal plane and the corresponding view is called as top view. The four quadrants used in orthographic projections are formed by two transparent principal planes. They are vertical plane and horizontal plane like wall and floor. The position of these planes should be rearranged to get the four quadrants. First, horizontal plane is to be moved up to the half height. Next, vertical plane is to be moved front to half width. These mutually perpendicular planes are moved out of the room. Now, they are slightly turned in anti-clockwise direction to get a better view. Hereafter, we call the vertical plane as VP, horizontal plane as HP and the intersecting line between VP and HP as reference line XY. You are seeing two different orientations of the plus shaped principal planes. There are four quadrants. We name the upper right quadrant as first quadrant, upper left quadrant as second quadrant, lower left quadrant as third quadrant, and lower right quadrant as fourth quadrant. The observer is viewing the mutually perpendicular planes and their four quadrants from the right side. We are going to see the position of four quadrants in detail from the point of view of observer. First quadrant is positioned as above HP and in front of VP. Please remember one thing, don't look at the quadrant positions in your point of view. You have to see the quadrant positions in the point of view of the observer. He is standing on the right side of the planes. Don't forget this. Okay, let us see the second quadrant. The second quadrant is positioned as above HP and behind VP. Third quadrant is positioned as below HP 
and behind VP. And the fourth quadrant is positioned as below HP and in front of VP. There are four types of multi-view orthographic projection. They are first angle, second angle, third angle and fourth angle projections. Before getting into the subject, you should learn what types of projection systems are in use, which one is used in India and how to use it. When the object is placed in first quadrant for projecting the 3D object to get the 2D view, then the corresponding projection system is called as first angle projection. Similarly, for each projection system, the object is placed in the respective quadrants. Before seeing further details, first you should know the rules of projections. Rule 1. Place the three dimensional object in a desired quadrant based on the projection system that you have chosen. Rule 2. Project the required 2D view of the object to the respective plane. Rule 3. Rotate the HP to 90 degree in clockwise direction to make both HP and a VP appears like a single plane. Rule 4. There is one more plane called profile plane. It is used to record the side view. Rotate this plane to 90 degree in a direction in such a way that makes the plane aligns with VP. In first angle projection, object should be kept in first quadrant. Here, object lies in between the observer and the plane of projection. The same condition should be maintained to get all the views. When the object is viewed from the front, front view is obtained on VP. When the object is viewed from the top, top view is obtained on HP. Both views are appeared on different planes, but we need both the views on a same plane. Hence, HP is rotated to 90 degree in clockwise direction. Now, you can see VP and HP, both the planes are appearing as a single plane. They are separated by the reference line XY. In this, front view comes above XY line and top view comes below the line. We require a third plane to get the side view, namely profile plane, shortly PP. A profile plane is introduced to the left of existing planes. When the observer comes to the right, then object is in the middle, that is between the observer and the profile plane. So condition satisfied. Then right side view of the object is projected to the left side profile plane but when the object is viewed from the left profile plane lies in between the observer and the object condition is not satisfied we have to keep the object in the middle while following first angle projection so the left side profile plane is removed and another profile plane is introduced to the right side of the existing planes now object lies in the middle when it is viewed from the left and left side view of the object is projected to the right side profile plane. To see all the views, the removed left side profile plane is brought to the screen. All four views are appeared on different planes. To make them shown on a single plane, all planes should be rotated to align with VP. Already we have seen how to rotate HP. Similarly, left side PP is turned left to VP and right side PP is turned right to VP. Now you can see VP, HP and two profile planes are appearing like a single plane. In first angle projection, front view should be drawn above XY line and top view should be drawn below the line. Left side view should come to the right of the front view, right side view should come to the left of the front view. India and European countries follow the first angle projection system. In second angle projection, object should be kept in second quadrant. Here, plane of projection lies in between the observer and object while viewing the object from the front. But the same condition cannot be maintained 
when the object is viewed from the top. So, this is not a valid projection system for engineering drawing. I'll explain to make you understand more. In second angle projection also, we get the front view of object in vertical plane and top view of the object in horizontal plane. To get both views on a single plane, HP is rotated to 90 degree in clockwise direction. After rotating HP, it has overlapped over VP. Hence, both front view and top view should come above XY line. The problem is, we get a confused clumsy picture because of overlapping the views one over another. That's why no one uses second angle projection system. So, no need to see how other views will come. In third angle projection, object should be kept in third quadrant. Here, plane of projection lies in between the observer and the object. While viewing the object from the front, top and the side. Since the same condition can be maintained for all views, this is said to be a valid projection system for engineering drawing. In this projection, we get the front view of object in VP and top view of object in HP. To get both views on a single plane, HP is rotated to 90 degree in clockwise direction. After rotating HP, top view goes above XY line and front view comes below XY line. To get side view, a profile plane is introduced to the left of existing planes. When the object is viewed from the left, left side view of the object is projected to the left side profile plane. Now, another profile plane is introduced to the right and when the object is viewed from the right, right side view of the object is projected to the right side profile plane. Now, all four views are appeared on different plane. To make them shown on a single plane, all planes should be rotated to align with VP. You know how to rotate HP. In the same manner, left side profile plane is turned left to VP and right side profile plane is turned right to VP. Now, you can see all the planes are looking like a single plane. In third angle projection, front view should be drawn below the XY line and the top view should be drawn above the XY line. Left side view should come to the left of the front view. Right side view should come to the right of the front view. The countries like US, Canada, Japan and Australia are following the third angle projection system. Finally, fourth angle projection. In this projection, object should be kept in fourth quadrant. Here, object lies in between the observer and the plane of projection while viewing the object from the front. But the same condition cannot be maintained when the object is viewed from the top. So, this is not a valid projection system for engineering drawing. Let us see this in detail. In fourth angle projection also, we get the front view of the object in VP and top view of object in HP. To get both views on a single plane, HP is rotated to 90 degree in clockwise direction. After rotating HP, it has overlapped over VP. Hence, both front view and top view are fallen below XY line. Like second angle projection, here also we get a confused clumsy picture because of overlapping the views one over another. That's why no one uses fourth angle projection. So, no need to discuss the other views. We come to the end. Among the four projection systems, first angle projection and third angle projection systems can be used by the people in the world. Other two systems cannot be used. In our country, we are using first angle projection. We will use the same for the entire engineering graphics drawings. Now, what you are seeing is a frustum of cone. The arrow indicates the direction in which the observer views the object. The table shows the front view and the left side view of the frustum of cone in both 
first angle and a third angle system these views are used as symbols to represent these projection systems engineers used to draw these symbols in the title black of every drawing sheet after the completion of the drawing by simply looking at the projection symbol we can understand what type of projection system is followed in the drawing i hope you understand the orthographic projection and various types of projection systems we will see the projection of points in the forthcoming videos if you want to support me please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get notified also share this video to your friends thank you